Hey, what's poppin' everybody? It's a Sable Final Four. I know I haven't uploaded the last couple of days. I apologize for that. But uh, now I'm back and I've got a, a double feature with uh, Galarian Farfetch and Camera Up Still. Uh, I had a decent little streak going. And when I say decent, I just mean like uh, four or five games uh, with this deck getting a, a bit lucky, not playing against. Uh, Arceus or things like Togekiss. If you play against those, you're going to lose. Uh, but yeah, I had a decent streak. And then I had to lose it all to a fucking, fucking uh, Durant deck. I mean, I hate Waylord even more, but that was really annoying, losing the shit to Durant. But anyway, I uh, got a double feature for you guys today. Hopefully it should be good enough. And pretty soon... We're going to get eventually the battle style set. And even if we, it's going to be impossible to get in real life, at least it should be easier to get in TCG Online if you saved up some tokens. Uh, anyway, hopefully things will get interesting. Let's focus on the matches finally. As you guys can see, I'm playing against uh, a lightning deck, Pikachu V, he started with. So maybe that's Pikachu V Max, maybe not. Good thing is, is that we started with our Snorlax, so I managed to get a, a solid uh, turn one, you could say. Got an energy on the Surfetch, got a Nummel down, I've got a bunch of stuff in hand. Uh, via Seekers, maybe we don't need just yet, but I have them. I've got the camera up, I've got Jirachi too, but, you know, we have Snorlax, another energy. So I'm, I'm, I had a decent start, let's just say that. Uh, my opponent, I mean, I'm pretty sure he must be trying to do some uh, Pikachu VMAX uh, combo stuff. There's that Voltorb over there. It, it can only mean one thing, Electrode, one of the Electrodes. And trying to get energies on the Pikachu, get some one-hit knockouts, I suppose. Uh, couldn't do much. He just went with the Energy Acceleration Attack. Honestly, he can get away with it since I'm playing a sort of a tier 3 deck myself. But if we can actually make an attack, like dump an energy and switch, I will be able to get a one-hit knockout. One of the benefits of uh, us, like our deck, of course, is being fighting. You get a lot of good coverage, you know. A lot of uh, colorless Pokemon are weak to fighting, lightning Pokemon, darkness Pokemon. Lots of popular stuff in Expanded. So let's see. Looks like still nothing. Got the heat run down. And yeah, it's just awkward, awkward hands. Anyway, I, I gotta go for another Gorman Dice, unfortunately. Ah, uh, damn. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I've got two energies. And I mean, for as long as Snorlax is active, I get to draw cards. So it's not too bad. Uh, air Balloon on the Pikachu and evolving into the Pikachu VMAX, Electro Power 2. I just hope he doesn't pull any of my dudes, like Surfetch basically. But he just actually went for the kill on the Snorlax, which is good. And you know what? At this point, I don't even need to rely on Camerupt. We can just get the third manual attachment with the fighting energy. And I'll get my one hit KO. So it sucks for him. I'm sure he knows that he probably doesn't have much of a chance going forward because of the weakness. I can just KO his biggest Pokemon with ease. And this is what we're going to do. And let me get another Surfetch with uh, the Nest Ball. And. Uh, Basically it, I guess we'll see from here what I'm going to do next turn. 400 damage with the weakness, more than enough to get the job done. And we're going to get three prizes, and all I got to do is just KO another big three prize guy, and that's it. That's going to be all she wrote. So, at the very least, even though this deck is mostly for fun, if you do get lucky, if you're fortunate enough to play against, uh, you know, the darkness decks and all the different lightning decks and maybe even some colorless decks like Snorlax VMAX or some other Pokemon you're gonna have at least a, a good time against them uh, of course there's ways to block weakness sort of negate your own weakness with stuff like the weakness energy 
but you should have the advantage either way. It's not going to be easy. Now, my opponent isn't giving up, though. I'll give him that. Uh, a lot of people would give up at this point, like when you get such an easy KO on their VMAX. Uh, looks like he's going to try. He got a few energies with the Bolt Hunt V. And I suppose if I kill that guy, I still don't win, but I'm going to be down to one prize. And uh, got the Enhance Hammer, too, but is there even a point of me using that? I'm just going to KO his dude anyway. Let's get the boss's orders. Why not? With the mail. And computer search. Get me a switching outlet. I think that's what we need to get. Discard the enhanced hammer. I'm not going to need that. Uh, the game should be over soon, I would say. And get the float stone so Keldio can finally roam free on the board. And I can make my combo easily. So go ahead retreat into the other farfetch and move the fighting energies we are ready to go and burning draft let me get another one and I still have a manual attachment too so we're good to go meteor smash it is another one hit KO 400 damage and I'm down to one prize I only need to get one prize should be very simple he does have the Pikachu almost ready, and I guess if he... Well, I think he already VMAXed, yeah. It's it's out. It's kind of confusing. These sort of uh, VMAX Pokemon, like uh, Gigantamax, that's really whack. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody agrees that Mega, Mega Forms are better. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but let's not digress. He gets the KO. Uh, so he managed to go down to three, basically got a small KO and a big KO, but that was it. And uh, as soon as he collects his prizes, I don't know why it's taking so long. All we got to do is just use Farfetch or Surfetch and it's going to be my game. So promote the Keldeo and that's it basically. I'm going to use Burning Draft. Um, I had the fighting energy, the, the fire energy in hand anyway, but whatever. So move the energies and last KO for the victory. Goodbye, Pikachu. That we didn't get. I could have maybe used it with electric. Uh, show something, I guess, uh, different for a change. I mean, I'm showing this, but get to use electric again. I haven't used that. Uh, for a while. Uh, but with the next set, we're going to get the Bronzong too, and that's going to be really interesting. But I suppose I should save that for when it's time to talk about it. Okay, and now I get to flip the coin, match two, and uh, we're going to choose to go second with this deck. And it looks like I'm not going to open with Snorlax this time or Jirachi. We get the Surfetch. But I do have the Ultra Ball and Charon too, and Juniper to help. And we got our Stadium too. Now, my opponent, let's see what he's going to open with. He's going to give me three cards. Thanks. It's going to really help. Um, Ultra Necrozma, that's another thing that's uh, always around and expanded. Uh, it's a shitty deck depending on what you're trying to, what you're using. Like uh, I'm using abilities in this case, but at the same time, uh, we have our outs and our counter stadiums and the field blowers, of course. And you time those right, you can explode. And it, it's not an impossible matchup. Anyway, I am going to get the Numble with Ultra Ball. I even have like the Enhanced Hammer in this deck, so we can hit the dude with that too. Let me use the incense, get another camera up, and go for Charon. Damn, I was hoping I was going to get another normal. Too bad. Uh, that's the downside with Charon, too. What can you do? But I'm glad I got the full art after all this time. Um, I should probably make uh, more videos talking about black and white games, too, because I don't want people to think that I'm a sort of black and white hater. Even though I do have some criticisms of the newer gents. 
uh, including Gen 5. I do have criticisms, a lot of criticisms of those games. But I actually like them very much too. I dumped a lot of hours in black and white and black and white too. Got all four. Uh, mostly black and black too. But I did make like two playthroughs of white as well. Just uh, mainly the story. Anyway, let's not digress again. Now my opponent, of course, what he's going to do is just evolve into Garbodor. He already got it out. Put a float stone and our other tool on it and just attack with alternate Cosma. That's all this deck does. Simple plan. Um, degenerate, but it is what it is. They decided to print that card the way they did. Now, he actually couldn't get an energy, which is perfect for me. And in this deck, I actually do have a startling megaphone. So, since this guy generously played all of his uh, tools down, like three of them, it's going to be really sweet if we can use that. Now, I got to use Cynthia because I don't want to give him cards with N. I know that he would really like that. And what do you know? We do get the Startling Megaphone. I'm going to play that down soon. But let's get another Pokemon with Nest Ball first. And damn, I actually don't have much. Looks like the other number is prized. But now, uh, I'm going to pass the turn actually since I can't attack just yet. I, th I thought I could, but I need a switch. So I'm not going to use the Megaphone just yet. Uh, he gets rid of my Stadium. So that's good, or not really good, but what I mean to say is that I countered his stadium, his countering mine again. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to counter that again next turn. And this is what you really do against this deck. Just uh, force them to play their stuff, then get rid of them, and then they can't really do shit. And you beat them at their own game. Uh, it's it's kind of simple. Um, it's not always going to work out, but it worked out for me many times with this deck. So Luster of Downfall, he gets his attack, he's not gonna get a KO and doesn't get to discard energies, I don't have anything. We're gonna play the Scorch Earth. Luckily enough I top decked it. Megaphone, get rid of all his shit. And it's Juniper time now. Get me the switch, get Heatran too. Let's use our abilities while we can. Get an energy. And looks like he's pissed. I mean, dude, you, you can't really complain using this fucked up ass deck. You cannot complain. Um, they should have never made that alternate cross be so good when they knew that Silent Lab existed. That just was poor designing. Um, such an obvious combo together. It's almost like some 10-year-old decided to design it. But anyway... So they can work together like that. But we get our KO. Get my first prize. And... I, I mean, if he attacks, uh, he's going to discard my energy. I'm not going to be able to attack anyway. we got to keep our abilities active. Otherwise, this deck is going to fall apart. Uh, but I did get rid of a lot of his shit. He's going to go for N. I'm actually surprised he didn't want to put the... That little... Uh, not muscle band, but one of the, 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 the little new band, I guess. Didn't put it on the Garbodor. I don't know why. That 10 extra isn't really going to do much. You're not going to get the KO on Surf Edge anyway. So that's weird. Why the fuck he's running that in the first place and expanded is strange. Because this muscle band is better than that one. But he passes the turn again. He couldn't attack. I mean, he's not going to like this, but Enhance Hammer, get rid of the energy on the bench. And, uh, I mean, it's so simple from here on out. I'm going to make another attack. This guy's going to die. Uh, he's going to lose another energy, another tool, another alternate Krosma. And, uh, let's see, I've got all these fire energies. Should we even use Heatran? Anyway, Burning Draft, get my energy, and go for the Mantle Attachment, um, uh, but he surrendered either way. So these are the matches, kind of an anticlimactic finish, but he decided to scoop, what can you do? 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up?